Hi, I'm Mark Cleghorn. Welcome to the Photographer Academy, and today we're talking about the photo editor in SmugMug. Um, I've just finished uploading a gallery here to my kind of trip to Venice to uh, try out my birthday present, which is a Fuji X Pro One. Thank you very much to my wife. And uh, what I'm going to do is actually kind of be using these to demonstrate uh, kind of the uh, the kind of the benefits that we have in the post upload uh, using the likes of SmugMug. So the first thing I'm going to do is kind of look at the uh, the main image, and if we just kind of just click into here, you can see this. There's, there's several things applied. I've got a kind of a proof here. If I kind of come down towards the bottom, I've got a title, I've got a caption of what this is as well, but there's no keywords added into here and so on. I've got to add the keywords in the likes of uh, Lightroom or in the likes of um, Bridge and Camera Raw. Obviously that kind of envi environment depends where you work. Um, so as far as the, the kind of the uh, photograph, it really doesn't have any of the real information that I need and so on. So uh, this is the, the kind of the perfect time when I just kind of come down here towards the bottom of the panel once I'm logged in and click on to tools. And in tools, you can see if I kind of come to the top, we've got the open in the editor. But also at this stage, I could make a copy, hide the image, develop with PicMonkey. I could crop the thumbnail itself uh, for viewing. I could replace it, and obviously I could delete the image as well. But I want to work just in the open in the ed editor. Now, I'm going to be working just on the one file to begin with, but I'm going to show you uh, later how we can kind of work across lots and lots of images. And uh, at this point, we want to kind of come up to the, the kind of the top parts here and work our way through them. It's a good workflow that they've put in place for us. Just first of all clicking onto the title and caption and we can see already that uh, uh, I've already got in the tourist in here. Well perhaps that's uh, not quite the right title for me so I want to go in and change this. So I'm just going to go in the boat ride. That's because I can't spell gondola. And I've already got in a caption here which is uh, uh, Mark's trip to Italy to try out his new Fuji X Pro 1. So I'm just going to kind of leave that for a minute. I'm just going to click on to save right down here at the bottom right hand corner. And once I've done that, obviously kind of Spugbug takes, takes a second to update the photograph. And then I'm going to just click on this little kind of back arrow at the top on the title of caption. And then we're going to come down to keywords. Now, if you haven't put keywords into the file, as we can see here, there's nothing applied to it. As I said, I would encourage you to actually do um, most of this work in the likes of the Lightroom or the Bridge environment. It's much, much quicker at times. And plus, you don't really want to have to go into uh, smug bug environment uh, post if you can get away with it you know make it nice and easy for yourself and so on do it in your true workflow fashion so uh, for here I want to add in some uh, kind of uh, uh, keywords so it would be Italy let's kind of spell it with a capital I of course Italy hit the return key just to actually kind of add that in just gonna go to uh, Venice and uh, I'm gonna put in there Fuji and then X Pro 1 and of course I want to put in my information mark Cleghorn and of course I could put in the alt 0169 which is the, cop the copyright symbol and mark Cleghorn 2014 so just by hitting that again so that's going to be applied into that so that is a keyword as well and it's, I'd always encourage you to put that into the, the kind of the result no matter what with it so uh, that's pretty good you can see here we've got that kind of remove all and remove the numeric we've got the options there I'm just going to kind of click on save for now because I've added in the elements that I want and then by going back up to that click arrow again coming down to the watermark and this is as a rule where you'd probably actually apply a watermark if you'd forgotten to either one image or a group of images that I'll show you in a minute um, or in this case this is where we've removed Remove the watermark. I'm just going to click on to remove, and then when I hit the save, now remember this is going to take a little bit of while. So as, as Smugmunk say, please be patient. It's going to take us a little bit of while to actually change it. So once we save that, just clicking back up to the top here with the watermarking, and then we've got, got an option here to actually go into the likes of color effects. Yeah, so uh, let's say I wanted to um, just come down and change it into say a black and white. I can just kind of click onto a black and white image here and that would update it. If I wanted a sepia image of course and so on and so on. So we, we've got the kind of the choice. Uh, let's uh, kind of look at that later uh, later on. But we do have an option here as I said. So if I did want to turn it just to black and white without taking it back into Photoshop uh, and kind of doing all the work with that, I've got an option here. I don't want to do that for now. So I'm just going to cancel that. And then uh, once more we're going to kind of got a crop here so perhaps um, this image even though it's great as a landscape I love the composition perhaps I want to make it into a square so this is where I can just kind of click on to the ratios click on to the one to one and at this point once it's kind of given it its basic crop mark I can then go in and decide on where my composition uh, is going to kind of play its part within the role itself. 
and if I was uh, kind of working in say the normal 2-3 crop uh, but I wanted it to move from a horizontal image into a ver vertical image as far as the crop is concerned I can just click the rotate button that doesn't rotate the photograph that actually rotates the crop tool itself so you can see how, how that kind of worked out so uh, obviously it doesn't work within the square but uh, it does work with all the other kind of um, sizes that we're seeing here so let me rotate that again and move that across and you can see how all that works but as I said I want it into one to one just going to click it move that crop back into place hit my save button click into yes and uh, you can see it doesn't look any different here on the screen because obviously it's kind of working away in the background with smoke mug um, next thing I'm going to do is just go in and add a, a bit of a location data to it but just while we're here on this photograph let's say this image was imported directly from camera so in other words I downloaded them I uploaded them straight away because I was in a rush or I wanted to kind of secure all my images whilst I was abroad um, that if you haven't got the camera rotation turned on um, that the, the the kind of the photograph if it was a a, ver a vertical image would actually be showing as a horizontal image and that's where I'd go click into rotate here and go in actually either rotate it to the left or to the right and so on as it's a square it doesn't matter okay and then as I said I wanted to add in some location data in here and at this point just clicking into the uh, magnifying tool here and uh, instead of kind of going uh, fishing in here <laughs> to actually try and find where I am by doing the plus or the minus kind of zooming in and out and so on as I can do that's not what I want to do I want to make it nice and easy I know where it was done so it's Venice and Italy and then hit the search uh, magnifying glass there and then straight away it kind of drops the pin so let me go let's drop it just where I want it, press done and then I'm going to hit the save and if I want to at this this stage I could kind of follow through to the next image and so on and so on but I don't want to work that way, I want to kind of work a lot quicker so I'm just going to click into close and then hit the X button here and then we're back into the environment itself with it so um, after a few minutes of course or seconds depends on the uh, file and how busy smug mug are of course and things are their kind of machines that photograph is going to update itself as we just saw it's kind of uh, changed this now to the uh, rectangle effect with it if we come down to the bottom we can see now it's already added in those keywords for me Italy Venice Fuji Expo One Mark Cleghorn and my copyright as well plus it's also got the new title or the new caption uh, in, in here with it so it kind of allows us to uh, kind of work quite wide easily on that. So let's just press the X to come back into the gallery once more and then just by scrolling to the top of the page clicking on to organize we're going to find ourselves into the organizing uh, part of the gallery itself. So if I want to do that across lots of images all I really need to do now is click on to select all and you can see here now at the top I've got the um, edit button so it's uh, the s exactly the same icon that we saw with the individual image but now it's in the organized gallery clicking onto that now it's going to ask me what do I want to affect well um, let's click onto title and caption anyway however um, you can't adjust more than one image for the title at present so in other words if I try and kind of click onto title here it's great it's grayed out um, however if I just uh, select all and then unselect all and I click onto one image click onto title and caption you can see I can kind of work on this so if I just click on to the uh, Pinocchio puppet here for a minute I can just go into the top once I've unselected that one and just go in and put in the puppet and just click in the save and then pretty much I could work my way through one image at a time but that's really not what I want to do I want to kind of show you how to affect all the keywords together so I'm just going to go in here and select all and at this point I could add in the caption once more but I've already done, done that what I want to come in down to is the keywords so as you can see because I already have some keywords in one of the photographs um, I can go ahead and kind of add these in so the first thing let's kind of plus my copyright Mark Cleghorn and let's uh, Italy and Venice and again I can go in and add in the, Fu uh, the Fuji option but if there wasn't something there I wanted to use so, leather, so let me just put in X-Pro even though we saw that a minute ago I'll just show you how to type that in and remember to hit the return key to add that into the selection itself with it so um, once I was done on that remember to click onto the save button here and then once it's saving all those files and it's finished doing itself 
basically Smug Mug's going to start to do its job and kind of get on and actually do it. So um, even though we've got the options in here to actually do the watermarking and so on, so this is where if I'd um, put a, a watermark on by mistake, let me just um, select all but unselect that one because we've removed the watermark already and it's going to go into watermark now and I'm just going to go to remove and once more I'm going to press save however just just before I do that I want to show you that if you hadn't applied the watermark and you've uploaded a watermark already you can go in and choose which one you want to use I've got several there or you can use the smug mug default of course but what I want to do is basically remove all the watermarks across all those images that I was showing you just going to click save now remember that is going to take a little while to uh, kind of uh, rechange uh, and remake all those kind of uh, variety of sizes that SmugMug does for us because uh, obviously we upload the original, it never applies the watermark to the original but it then takes the original and says okay I need to make multiple sizes to make it very very quick for our viewers to see again and that's what it's going to do and uh, replace those that are going through it. So um, then we've got um, the, diff the difference then is being able to once more just go in and select uh, an image so let's kind of click the window down here let's go to the color effects uh, and uh, we can just go in here and actually change the one that we want this this tannin salon which is quite good it almost looks like a, a warm uh, kind of element being added into it almost a, a bit of a tea stain not quite a vintage look but it's pretty cool but remember you've also got the uh, uh, the black and white kind of option down here as well but uh, as a rule of thumb I try and do all of that of course in the likes of Photoshop but let me just add that I'm just going to click to save that one image are you sure yes I am and then once more kind of clicking back here and remember at this point I want to kind of add that location to the, all the photographs. Select all, location data, clicking into once more. So Venice, Italy and hit the magnifying glass again to actually search. That's it, I want to click done and now it's applied the uh, the relocation to them all. Uh, if, if you've done it wrong or you want to remove the information just remember to actually use the remove location part and just hitting the save and that's pretty much it that's how you can actually take your images into the photo editor within SmugMug to kind of uh, just just go in and kind of finish them so whether it's adding an, uh, a title a caption adjusting the key at uh, the keywords or adding them in whether you want to add or remove your war uh, your watermark crop and rotate your images applying a color effect or kind of just go and add the geolocation uh, location with it you've basically got that option to do it in the editor itself and once we kind of clicked on the done you'll start to see eventually that the images will have had their kind of uh, watermark removed or added of course they'll have all the new key at the keywords going through and uh, it kind of allows you to save having to upload all those images again that you think that you might have to do I promise you don't smug mug is that smart hope you enjoyed this film see you next time bye bye